Good morning, this is TJ Muleman with Standard Co. with a brief tutorial on how to sanitize your Metabase instance. What do I mean by sanitizing your Metabase instance? What I mean is when you upload a data set from whatever data warehouse you might be using, in our case, Standard Data, um, the way the data gets transported to Metabase is a mimic of what's in the database itself. Um, so the database name, uh, Metabase does a pretty good job of sort of assuming what the Metabase name is, uh, all of the columns and what the types of those columns are. It pulls all that over. Um, but the reality is that w the way you call it in your data system and what you want to see in Metabase aren't always exactly the same. So we're going to go through kind of a few things. This is going to be a real short video, but I think it's a good idea to, um, especially if you're an administrator of your Metabase instance, to when you upload a new data set, um, to go into the data model section uh, and pick your table. In this case, we're using this admission data table and make sure that everything in here sort of represents the way you would want a Metabase user on the other side to interact with that data. So for example, uh, our system, we, it's called Rowdy, is our, is our sort of demo uh, system. Um, and I don't want the user to see Rowdy. I just want them to see admission data. This is actually a college admission data. Um, so I remove Rowdy, and I'm just going to leave it as admission data. Uh, I'm going to give it a description because when somebody's looking at the data, this they'll see not Rowdy admission data. Now they'll just see admission data, and they'll see the uh, description uh, of this thing. One thing to note is that um, these changes that we're going to make manifest themselves primarily in the uh, query builder. The SQL query, where you actually write SQL, will still use the underlying table name uh, that you have in whatever your data system is. In our case, it's MySQL. So it would still be Rowdy Admission Data. That's just one little kind of, I wouldn't call it a peculiarity, but just a thing to be mindful of. Um, the other thing I always love to do is go through and find whatever columns uh, we want to hide. So, for example, our system automatically, when you upload a data set, it automatically adds uh, four or five columns as what we call like meta columns uh, for that data. So it adds an ID column. It adds this thing called a meta instance ID, which is a global unique ID uh, created at, updated at, and created by. These are all columns that our system uses to track the data. Well, this is the kind of data that um, a user in Metabase doesn't really care about. And so what we always encourage our, our uh, Metabase admins to do is uh, once you've uploaded data in standard data is to come in here and then turn these off. Notice that their visibility is do not include. What this means is when I look at this data, either through the, the data browser or when I'm actually you know building uh, questions and dashboards, uh, the end user will not see these, these values. One thing you can think about doing is you can say only show them in detail views. Most of the data, at least in our system, uh, again, this is purely for uh, standard data and our data system used for, for audit trails and that sort of thing. I would just leave it as do not include. And whatever your system might add to, this, to, to your data set, just make sure, you know, is this data you want people in Metabase to see? Um, and then last but not least, to go through uh, on the type, and uh, assign, you know, what kind of type is it? Is it a date? Is it a number? Is it um, uh, a primary key or an entity key? Uh, these are all things that are, are good database san sanitization uh, practices within Metabase. So uh, to conclude this, whenever you upload a new data set, just go into the data Metabase admin, uh, make sure that the name of the data set is the way you want it, make sure it's got a description, and make sure you've hidden any columns that either don't make sense or are confusing or are really for you know audit trail purposes only. Hopefully you found this useful. Uh, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about uh, the work we do, and, and we look forward to talking to you next time.